Hello, this is Attorney Mike Gravel coming to you from Chicago as usual. And this is our big 2022 review. It was a crazy year. We had so much good material. So much good material, and I let some viewers talk me into doing a, a review video. Here it is. Uh, th there are so many videos, I, I don't know how many I did, but th this is just a small sampling of some of the fun stuff that, that we that we experienced this year. For you regulars, it'll, it'll be a walk down memory lane. And for you, for you newer viewers, uh, you, you might see a few things that, that, that you didn't notice before. So the Screaming Goat salute to 2022. <laughs> Let's do it. Say it. Welcome to Law Talk with Mike. Hi, this is Lily Bristow. Welcome to Law Talk with Mike. There's music and laughter and all kind of banter. Welcome to Law Talk with Mike. Hi, this is Jessica Blanche. Welcome to Law Talk with Mike. So I, I'm not here to explain myself. I'm here to impose sentence. So either we want to go ahead and do the sentence and try to work the probation, worker. Mm -hmm. or we want to go ahead and, and withdraw the plea, take it back to the felony docket, and handle it on, as a felony. Ms. Holderman? Oh. Yes. I'm not sure whose laptop you're using, but it's disrespectful to log into my court as blue balls. Let me change your. I'm name. sorry, it's the one. I will. I apologize, Mr. Milton. I didn't realize it did that. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe, or the dogs get it. What I've said to you right now has not sunk in. Has not sunk in. You really still don't grasp it. That's what you need to understand, and you don't. And that's where I want to help you. Just, I don't know, on his behalf, I guess. I really don't know uh, why you showed up today. Um, if you want to file a motion with the court, you can file a motion with the court. However, I'm not going to entertain anything else. And you are yelling at me at this moment. And so I won't entertain you. Um, so thank you so much. You have a great day. What do you want? Uh, that's it, my uh, senior will not be here. Uh, what do you want? That's it. Another day. That's it. You absolutely have the right to travel. You do not have the right to use any mechanism in which to travel. So I would suggest a history lesson might be in order, but I don't plan on giving it this way. Your Honor, I am a Native American and I have the right to nope. travel according to the treaty that was signed between your forefathers that formed your government. I don't think, I don't think my forefathers signed any treaty. I'm just going to tell you, I don't, I don't think that happened. That we are entitled to see. And the floor is locked, so we couldn't get in. We had to walk down 14 flights because we tried to walk, see if we could get in through the stairs. We couldn't get in through the stairs. <laughs> This is my favorite part. When she said that, I thought she was just being dramatic. No, no, they did try, and they did have to walk down 14 flights. <laughs> You'll see. I did as we had filed for copyrights on that flag on the terms of the grammar. So now that if a federal contractor does come in, they would have to comply with the terms of the syntax to create a now space performance for the terms of the contract. If you do not appear in person by before 5 o'clock this afternoon with checks made payable to the registry of the court, I will issue warrants for your arrest for criminal contempt of court. Ouch. This kind of behavior is ongoing and inexcusable. This is the second hearing today for which CPS failed to appear, and I have no patience any longer with the recalcitrance of CPS for failing to assist the kids of this county. The wheels of justice are going to roll you right into the Wayne County Jail. If you I, I never knew that I was. All right, well, their allegation is you knew damn well you were suspended because you didn't have a driver's license. In your no, when I got pulled over, you had and a Michigan ID card. I knew that I was suspended. And then the second time in and September, then in Michigan, I got a clearance card. 
through when I took my driver's test, I got a clearance card. So when I got the clearance card at that moment, I thought I was able to when, drive. When did you take your driver's test? Being October 16, 2020, but that would be after the effective date. So no, sure. that's before the effective date. They mailed it on October 16th, indicating he's going to be suspended indefinite on January 1st. So they gave him a two and a half month. Okay almost a three-month lead time in Indiana that if you don't get this taken care of, you're going to be suspended. He also has an open warrant in Indiana for a minor in possession of alcohol where he was failure to appear for a court hearing. Hey, there's the double hammer right there. And then uh, I was asking for the case. Um, excuse me, sir. Uh, it should be right there. I don't have all my notes right here because I am in jail. Well, um, if, you want, if you want your motions heard, I'm ready to do it. Let's roll. Okay, well, um, okay, excuse me, sir. Give me one second. So, um, one, the warrant was signed two days after the fact of them searching, sir. So that, that puts it already in violation, sir. Is no violation regarding that at all. Yeah, um, without getting into further detail, there were drugs involved that people were uh, giving to me that uh, ends up being glue. Like, I smoked some glue and stuff. I thought I was smoking crack, and it goes further. In that April 25th, 2019 letter, it wasn't just about this. I'm like, sorry. I gotta stop. 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 It's not supposed to be like this. No, I'm He's trying to jail. Stop. He's trying to jail. Stop. 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 I'm oh, making a bar complaint now. against you, Mr. Dickerson. I will get these jobs, and I will make a bar complaint against you. Mr. Grandino, stop. If I would have done this, you would have told me immediately not to do that. Completely and totally. It's inappropriate for him to come here multiple times, and you know that, Judge. Wow. Well, he is permitted to walk around the You would not let me do that if I were representing myself. Stop. If I were going over to the prosecution. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. Look, I was going to ask for a recess during I, this recess. You're not to discuss or communicate with anyone, including your fellow jurors, and you wait for the case or its merits, either by voice or So, Mr. Howard, um, I will now, what did you say? I said I would like to represent myself. I'm here in Purple Persona, UCC 1 308, reserve all my rights. Okay, so you wish to. Just, just keep watching. Both Attorney Brenner and uh, Malaro are fantastic. They both leaned in for, to, to make sure that they caught it all. <laughs> and it is fantastic. Also, the judge is great. She's having none of it. Do you um, no longer have an attorney represent you? I'm a man in flesh. I'm representing uh, the subject. I'm here for the subject matter at hand. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. I'm, I'm representing myself. I'm here. Okay, I'm here so, under God. So you wish to my man living? Say it again. A man living, the flesh. Dear Howard. Uh, well, you're not done because you're talking to me. So, but I don't know what you're saying other than that. Have you ever had any history of substance abuse issues? <laughs> I smoked a lot of weed. Oh, does Mr. Camp live at the address on Bankers Road? No. All right. He's going to be there. Why the fuck would he be there? Miss Nussbickle? Deputies, why don't you guys go ahead and take her right on out? And when she can behave herself, I'll bring her back. I think she's fucking Oh, no. You seem to be having an issue. Why don't you go and think about it for a minute, and then I'll bring you back. You need to turn yourself into jail right now. Don't ask me how to get to school. You figure it out. You're a student at the school. And I don't know that. Yes, but having court, having court this early in the morning is not okay. Like the afternoon, yes, but during school hours, I had a presentation this morning. But no, I couldn't go because I have to come here because I have to be first thing in the fucking morning. All right, I'm going to cancel your. You, no, 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 no direct you to appear at the court. I find that you're in contempt. I'm issuing a bench warrant for your arrest with no bond, effective immediately. 
Um, excuse me, can I ask a question? No. Would place your screen on mute. Yes, sir. I don't have anything to do with that. Well, what are you doing? What All I'm doing is setting a bond for you. Bond? What's the bond? Bond's $100. What do you mean? It means you got to post it. You're an attorney, right? But you're not acting where I know. Do I have to, do I, how long do I have to stay in jail if I don't pay? <laughs> Until you pay or get this case resolved. What time? Until you pay the $100 or get the case resolved. How much time can I spend? Time, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this. You can see you can spend. Uh, this is a first degree misdemeanor. Yes, sir. Spend up to a year in jail. Oh yeah. I'm not you saying you're going, fool, man. Sir, I'm not saying you're going to spend a year in jail. Man, I don't want to spend a penny and uh, time in jail. If it's overnight, all I did was truck pass on the property. How I spend a year in jail, man? What you talking about? I didn't say you're going to spend a year in jail. How long did you spend asked? Jail? You asked me what the maximum was. I said up to a year in jail. What the minimum is? There's no minimum. For the maximum is it? No, 100 years in jail. One year. 100 years in jail. One year. I'll do the one year. No, you're not going to give me one year in jail, man. I'm not going to give you a year. No, damn fool. Give me a year in jail. No. How the hell y'all talking? Spawn said $100. Ma'am, you didn't say the cat jumped on his wiener, did you? You know, fake punch going by. <clears throat> Just, you know, that far. Okay. Just making believe. Just making believe. Okay. It's a belief punch. Okay. It's a belief <laughs> punch. And, and then they both laugh, you say. Yeah, they both, you know, they just start, you know. Did, did you watch them get on the elevator? No. And you I think you testified already, you're pretty angry with Ms. Hurd, right? When? I, I wrote it down that you Oh, were, about all the phony, about the phony pictures was, that were, that were taken. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you mean all and, that crap uh, you made oh, up? Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and, and about, uh, and the way she's uh, trying, uh, at trying to kind of. Oh, oh, this is a terrible cross. Terrible. TV claim to this guy's running wild in the streets, man, folks. Uh, a man. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that kind of got me uh, uh, yeah. uh, frustrated, angry. confused, angry, oh. upset. Yes, which is why I said the best thing for us to do is not to talk to each other. Okay. And yes. And All right, Dr. Nguyen, see, Ms. Ms. Jennifer, you are not out of the restroom. You are still no, in the restroom. I know. I, think, I, know I, I, yeah. I have to come back and fight. Please. Oh, Lord. Oh. Cut the camera. <laughs> Cut that camera. Please. Where's the tank? Because I don't know what's about to happen there. So then all the people, the dozen, three dozen people so far on camera, what about them? What about them? Don't you give a damn that, what about Teresa Ward, who is held First down? First of all, I work two, do, two jobs. I'm not saying, no. I don't have time to sit and watch a feed of somebody that's out creating you know chaos. In creating house. chaos. Yes. So I'm so, the creator of chaos. That's right. You are the creator of chaos. Uh -huh. You come in from California, and you're the creator of chaos. And that's exactly what you are. And these people are being pulled by you. You're nothing but an idiot. An idiot. His brother did jump by Henshaw when he was well, on heroin. That doesn't, that doesn't matter. I'm not saying that there aren't bad instances. There's not bad people. There's not bad police. There's not bad in everything. But you are not the answer to the problem. I'm, I'm the problem, right? Boom. Oh, she's it's just dropping truth bomb after truth bomb. I love it. And she's like literally just, just going about her day, still trying to be productive. You are a part of the And I'm an idiot. You haven't, seen, you haven't seen my lectures on constitutional <laughs> law or the history. I don't give a shit about your lectures on constitutional law or history. You don't care about you it. You sit there and say that uh, Andy Ballard and the things that he's done and Kristen Finley and the things that they've done are not good things. You are sadly I said mistaken, and you know what? You haven't been in town to know all that stuff. Oh, so I couldn't get testimony from people. I said the You're reports getting I'm getting. testimony from who? These folks right here. Are they lying? Yeah. Were they, was their son stomped on when he was heroin? Was their son Yes, they probably are. <laughs> stomped on? Not a credible person. Okay, okay. Okay, there it is. There it is, folks. All right, Mr. Shriver, you can step back, sir. Am I getting out? If you post bail, otherwise you're going to I have no family, everybody's dead. I am scared. Fuck you. Fuck you. That bullshit. Who else is there? I am. I'm over here. Fuck you.
Mr. Golding Booth, you are here for an arraignment. In what is your response to the request for a psychological evaluation? I'm not doing it, and you cannot force me to do it. You cannot physically make me go and show up and partake in anything that I do not want to partake in, yes or no. I would take that as a challenge. <laughs> Why don't I go ahead and write that on this order and see how it works out? Do you agree or not agree? Uh, you don't get to ask me questions right now. I'm asking okay, your... That's I'm well played. Position. That's my response to you. Okay. You will not get any. I'm not doing a psych eval, and you cannot make it mandatory. Interesting. Um, in terms of the motion to compel, they're talking about discovery. What's your response to their um, motion to compel? Have you read their discovery? When are you going to view my videos? Ma'am. You need to answer my question. I answered your goddamn question. Is the proper way to discharge my debt? And I gave you three days to respond. You didn't. Whenever I talked to Miss Vargas days or weeks later and explained what this was, that it needed to be addressed, I, they were still more than three days lapsed. So in my opinion, you are in dishonor. That's what it says down here. You may, if you do not comply, you may be in dishonor. I don't know what now, that means. What's dishonor mean? If I am in dishonor of the court, I can have a warrant against me. If you're in dishonor of the, of the, uh, of the whole procedure, then you have, essentially you have acquiesced to my demand or my request. And that was those four requests, that you discharge this, get my name out of the controversy, and take whatever you need out of my account. Okay. <laughs> That's the procedure. Which, where, where are you getting this procedure, though? Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm required to follow the Texas Family Code and the Texas Rules of Civil Procedure, but yeah, none sure. of that sounds I'm, vaguely familiar. I might have been asleep that day in law school, but this doesn't, you know, this doesn't sound like uh, what I, what, what we typically do in Texas. But Your Honor, may I? No, you may not. Assuming this is kind Mr. of my Mr. today is the day to take your plea. Today is the day to get your documents in. Where are you currently standing? Um, yes, Your Honor. I didn't actually know that I was supposed to turn in. I don't in. care what you didn't know. You're here to take a final plea. The documents are due today. I'm going to expect you to either be prepared with the documents within the next 15 minutes, or you're going to come down to the courtroom, courtroom in G33. Otherwise, I'll be glad to send the marshal's office to your place to have you arrested. Boy, that escalated quickly. He jumped up a notch. Now... Are you ready with your documents? No, Your Honor, I did not know. Will you be know. ready in the next 15 minutes? Um, no, Your Honor. Uh, if, if I may, I did not know that I was supposed to turn in paperwork. This is my first Mr. Garner. Meredith, not you chose to represent yourself. You're responsible for understanding. And I don't have patience anymore with regards to folks whose cases have been reset for a final plea. Now, where are you physically located right now? were drawn by mechanical power and used for commercial purposes on the highways. The term used for commercial purposes means the carriage or a person or property for any fair fee rate charge or other considerations or directly or indirectly in connection with any business or other undertakings intended for profit. A motor vehicle or automobile for hire is a motor vehicle other than an automobile stage used for the transportation of persons for which remuneration is received, International Motor Transit Co. versus Seattle 251 P120. So does that mean you want to plead not guilty? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming that's a yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Because I don't know if there's a club, you pay dues. Uh, as I said, the staff said you've been very polite and respectful, but you are woefully misinformed. Uh, people keep coming up with these. I have one more brand thing. Uh, well, anyway, well, everything you just said has no meaning to whether or not you need a valid driver's license or insurance in the state of Michigan. And uh, the problem is, Mr. Aiken, you could take all this misinformation and really get yourself in a difficult circumstance. I don't know who's teaching you this, whether you learned it yourself yeah. off the internet or you've got a mentor that is taking you down this rabbit hole. But I don't want you to get yourself in a situation where you're going to have to live to be 99 years old to get your driver's license back. Ma'am, don't you have a license? I have a permit. Okay. Uh, yeah. I have I have a permit. I got I went and got my permit, but I failed the uh, parallel parking twice. Oh, really? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh man! Don't don't laugh. <laughs> no, I'm not. That's this is not laughing. Um. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That wasn't laughing. There were there was no laughing there. <laughs> I'm trying. Try okay, so, so hold, hold on. Ms. Manigal, I just want to know this. So you go in the first time, you take the test, you try yeah. to parallel park. I get it. It doesn't kind of work out, right? No. So you fail the parallel parking. Yes, sir. All right. So between that time and the time you go back, did you practice? I did practice. I just got nervous and I was trying to get into the calls and I it just seemed like I wasn't there. So he just told me to practice a little bit more. I have been practicing. Everybody's been practicing with me. I just got nervous, that's all. What were you driving? Since in uh, all of the claims and papers that you have piled, I have found to be lacking in legal and factual merit, and I have denied any such relief, and I'm entering a That's court. fine. Please stop referring to me as the defendant, and I guess the next step will be, I guess I got to do the actual filing of the claims if you're going to deny all of those. No, those, I don't know what claims you're talking about. You filed some claims or, or notices or requests. No, I did not even file my claims yet. I did notices. I did not file my claims yet. I've been putting that off because I really don't want to have to file claims and ruin people's lives and ruin their... <laughs> you're going to ruin your own life and, and make your case a lot worse. But, uh, you know, what you filed so far has been denied. Jobs because they're not upholding my constitutional rights as a woman, not a defendant. I am a woman only. Only. I woman Angela. I woman Angela. I woman Angela. That's it. Did you hear the judge's ruling? He said you're a woman and a defendant, which was uh, hilariously uh, specific, but uh, he actually made a ruling on this point. Not defendant. I'm not a defendant. Well, you are. <laughs> and, uh, okay, in your opinion and legally, yes, but I am a woman. So, do we need to do trial by jury when we? Yeah, yes, in his opinion, which happens to be relevant here, as he's the judge overseeing the case. <laughs> I can do my claims and file my court with your court at the same time, because that's oh, going to yeah. be my next step to file claims against everybody involved in this case, because there is no verified claim and complaints and claims are two different things. I don't want to file claims. I'm trying very hard, and I've been trying hard to not do that. But I guess if we got to keep going, that's my next step. And I will file proper claims with the proper people and the insurance team for the bonding. So I don't know what you want to do at this <laughs> point. I really don't want to have to do that. Ms. Christian, I, I got to tell you, I don't know what in the heck you're talking about. Yeah. You're, you're talking nonsense. So, so here, here's the thing. I am not going to relinquish my authority in this case. I'm not. All right. The prosecutor's office can dismiss the case. They're choosing not to. So that means we do have to go forward to a jury trial unless you okay. want to plead guilty. All right. This is the last time the court's going to warn you. We're not here to talk about that. Indeed, 
the court has discretion under Nevada Revised Statute 178 to hit the pause button on this case and direct you to an evaluation to make sure you're in a position to move this case Thank forward. You, Chris. Objection. Statutes and codes are not law. There's quite a bit of case law with respect to that. <laughs> I object to you proceeding not following my requirement of Article Three court. Um, I am a natural living man on the land. There's quite a bit of case law is the best nebulous citation. There's just quite a bit of case law saying that statutes and codes don't don't exist. <laughs> no, there isn't. I am here under peace. I got a peaceful flag. I've got a Bible. I am under divine special appearance and I'm calling for a court of record. I've got a fez. There is no probable cause. And I'm wherefore <laughs> I am here to settle a claim with the injured party. All right, Mr. Illigas, I need you to stop. Your Honor, if I could just ask for the grounds for the termination of tenancy. Oh, uh, well, that's a good question because I don't have a lease agreement in the uh, file. Uh, Hold on to your hats. Uh -oh. What are the grounds, <laughs> ma'am? Um, I came home October 26th and I found Harold Muhammad, current husband, in bed with another woman okay. um, who is currently pregnant. A 20-year-old girl who's currently pregnant with his you child. You really have to ask for the grounds, Mr. Sartori. <laughs> well, I, I can't see, uh, Your Honor, I can't see the filing. And, I was just curious what the grounds were. Yeah. Well, and, and yeah, sorry. Well, I, I guess I'm, I'm looking. confused. Is that this is your husband in marital property? It's not a marital property. It's property I brought with um, inheritance from my mom. And yes, oh. we are still currently married. So. So we are still in the house, and yes, so that's the grounds why I would like him. Yes, he is, ma'am, and I'm surprised that he has COVID because that's a surprise to me. I'm sorry. Let he me calm down. Oh, um, he didn't share with you that he's sick and has COVID? No, ma'am. So this is one of the reasons why I would like to move from the property because the woman that he is currently messing with or may or may not still be messing with turned up to my house this past Thursday at 11.50 in the evening, stood outside on the porch um, making noise, and I mean really loud, for a whole hour and a half until the police arrived, um, and she's unstable. So she is now a danger to my household. She brings, see, I'm going to use Ms. Fowler's word. She now is in a thruple. And not only does she choose to be in a thruple, and she's shacked up in the bed with the thruple. Now, if anybody thinks this is okay, I am in the wrong world. And the statements to the court were made, the statements that Mr. Miller made to the court <laughs> were made without his knowledge of the I wouldn't doubt it. Of dog law of 1919. With all due respect, the court does find that these arguments are without merit. That certainly the court believes that those arguments are disingenuous and they border on spurious. Disingenuous, bordering on spurious, that, that might be a new t-shirt. Given that, even a child knows whether they own something or possess or have the right to possess something, they know whether or not something is theirs. They don't need a lawyer. They don't need a statute to tell them otherwise. In a world that didn't have the terms law enforcer. In a world where cat videos and memes rule the feeds. Or police or cop. Imagine a world that the way you identified what authority was, was by what they were wearing on their head. Oh my gosh, it is a double rainbow. I cannot believe it. It's a freaking double rainbow. Oh, would you regret if you had to do a case and Debbie was on the other side? No. That'd be all sorts of fun. <laughs> that would just be delicious. Deliciously awful. Oh. And and uh, I think about these things in different ways, uh, especially uh, coming up on uh, new information. I'm 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 uh, 
watching videos like the Law Talk with Mike channel and then was moved to a 40 man cell. Everybody mixed murderers and thieves. Just wait. It was a terrible experience. Oh my god! <laughs> this is my favorite part. I guess. I didn't see the sign. I didn't see the sign if it said anything about. Okay, I gotta wait. I gotta pull things. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Everything fell. I can't shift. I can't play the pedal. Oh, I must stop this. I know where there's free lodging. Request for sanctions. The court is not going to impose sanctions. While I appreciate uh, the response filed by on behalf of Mr. Mr. Leva, uh, I think these is so facially insufficient and factually insufficient that it's really not necessary to be expending attorney's fees to oppose those. You're certainly welcome to participate in the hearing. I agree with the judge here, but you, you got you to really get into what that ruling was. He's like, this, this motion was, sucked so bad that I'm not granting attorney's fees to defend it because it didn't rise to the level of actually having to think about it. <laughs> so it sort of helps this woman admit he's not granting attorney's fees, but insults her at the same time. But I'm going to deny the request for sanctions, uh, at least at this point. <laughs> Right, that'll be the ruling of the court, and I will get an order entered to that effect. Uh, anything else on this motion? No, Your Honor. We're committing a felony. Just going to say it on public television. Right now, all of you are committing felonies. The name of the place is Pockets. Okay. That's a billiard place. That's a pool hall. Place. See, Mr. Ron, come in. It's also a restaurant. Just and, and bar. <laughs> Sort of. Can somebody look up Miss Amelie? Yes, yes. Can you look up pockets? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, it's, a, it's a. I'm bar. sorry, Mr. It's a bar and pool place. Yes. Miss Ordaz, I don't want any games with you. I'm going to put you in jail right now if you don't answer me and if you're not forthright with me. That's a bar. Isn't it? It is a bar. Yeah. You can also it's a bar. I didn't ask that. It is a bar, isn't it, Ms. Ordaz? Stop your game. See? You yes. got me. Stop your games. Miss Amelie, you don't have to check. Pockets is a billiard bar. Maybe they serve bar food, chicken wings. <laughs> yes, Judge, they have a, a, a drink menu and a food menu. I probably I probably should have gone with chicken wings for the thumbnail because I think that's my favorite part. I just I just like the incredulous chicken wings. <laughs> it's a bar, Mister Love. What were you doing in a bar on probation? Twenty-five thousand. That's just that's dumb. I know it's ridiculous, isn't it? It's stupid. Hey, hey, it's obvious. It's $2,500. Yeah, you're going to have to. No, 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 ma'am. No, ma'am. You're right. It is crazy. Let's change that. Bronze 50000 So you even get along with Michael Dickerson. Oh, we're telling jokes and everything. Look, he's doing I, I do. a job. Wait, wait, wait. I have to show this. This is fun. I'm sorry. They, they did a, we did a little you're loop You're going to show it. the dancing Blandino, huh? Yeah. Can, 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 can I get your reaction to that? I think, it's fun. And I, I think it's fun. I don't know what it was in reference, but I was it was something funny that happened, and I was doing the little dance, you know. All right, let's 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 take a look at a little bit of it. The, I, I honestly liked it, and you were telling jokes to both prosecutors at the time. That's what that's what started this. Sure, sure. Okay, sure. let's take a look. <laughs> 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 okay. I'll stop it. I'll stop it. Thank you for calling from Joe. This is for your one transfer call. I need to speak to someone who has power at the Department of Justice because I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm on the end of civil rights violations from the Ironton Police Department. I filed a lawsuit against them today. I'm an investigative journalist yes. here in Ironton, Ohio. 
I've collected stories from hundreds of confidential informants who have told me their oh. story. And they are trying to now crack my phone tomorrow. This is too rich. Protesting so they could get the information off there. The people are deathly afraid. They don't want their information known. If there is a justice department that is for the people, then we need that. We need them now. And right now, as I, uh, as sir, I, sir, before you give up your entire speech, I'm just going to let you know we are closed for the day. <laughs> <laughs> so, is there? Is there anybody? Is Pure there, gold. Is there anybody home? Is there anybody who's going to help? Well, you can call back tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. and have to talk to the criminal division <laughs> or special investigations if you'd like. <gasps> okay. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it, sir. I want to ask that. Uh, you too. And great morning. All right. Okay. I am Judge Lanice Bryant. Welcome to the 36th District Court. You are at the 36th District Court. You are at 36th District Court. You are at 36th District Court. Where are we, Judge? Court. You are at 36th District Court. You have lost. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, Mr. Lee, it's nice to see you. I see you have your uh, clergy there. Okay. Oh, dang. Huh? Yeah. My phone is dying. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, excuse me. Yeah, watch your mouth, sir. Yes, I'm proud of that. My phone is dying. I got it. Come on, Judge. Okay. Here's Anton. <laughs> okay, Michigan. You tell me this. You tell me first you buy a car that, and you don't have a driver's license. And oh, if that's shit. not enough, you tell me that this one day you take the car to work. And then you know what the ironic part about the story is? Is that you say the job is on eight miles in Southfield and you live on seven miles in Southfield. <laughs> That's one mile. That's a 10 minute walk at most. And you're right. You're right. I mean, it's not, I'm, I'm a, uh, I like to be planned out. I don't like to be caught up. I like with the president. You're right. You got me there. You got me there. I, I really don't need to be driving at all. Am I right, Reverend? Yes, sir. I'm talking to the clergy out there, Ms. Oh, 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 oh. sorry, sorry. <laughs> ma'am, ma'am, Miss Miss Langford. Oh, I, I didn't know you could see me. Miss Langford, go put some clothes on. I didn't know you could see me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm going to set a cash or surety bond in this matter of $65,000 cash, no surety. All right, that's the bond. That's it, sir. So is this a tether bond too, sir? No. Okay. You know what? I'll tell you what. Sir, why don't you sprint out of the booth here? I'm gonna, I'm sorry. if you should post bond, you're gonna have to be on tether too. This is why. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I thought he was uh, on tether on the other case. Yeah, I, I, I yeah. thought he was on tether all right. Sir, you got to know when to exit the stage. <laughs> you know what? I'm changing the bond. That's not even high enough. Make it 165000 no, Susan, it's 165. You should up here talking about how he's going to run <laughs> around, and I'm, I'm not comfortable. <laughs> Sir, I would beg you to leave the booth. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to, um, my staff is getting me a phone number that you can use to call into this Zoom hearing so that I can hear what you're saying to me because it's important. 
that I hear what you're saying to me. All right? Do you hear me? Can you respond to my question? Is that all right? Do you have a phone you can... We should distract from the... Um, just off the sub subject matter. Oh, Lord. And uh, we... <laughs> child who is uh, who has been waiting this should not go on miss tong the injuries have been on the mom and the children <laughs> she continues no one would be oh, willing God. to listen this is exactly what happened in our past hearings miss tong i'm trying to listen the problem is your internet is bad and i hear about half the words you say i hear you crystal clear Remember all the things we were talking about. You thought we were fighting, wrestling, that kind of stuff for most of that time? Yes. And is that where you sustained some of the bruises? Yes. Some of the scratches? Yes. Okay. So you think most of the injuries that were photographed were happened in that living room? Um, some happened in that living room. Some happened through other moments of the events. Okay. I mean, seriously, right here, it's like he's just giving a factual basis for his crimes. Um, it was your testimony that you saw scarves wrapped around my body in the living room? Tied to your belt loops. Tied to my belt loops. And they couldn't have come from your closet? Those scarves were not at my new home. Okay. Um, so you, you didn't notice them at any other time until we were in a dark living room? Yes. And you could discern in that darkness the colors of peach, pink, and white? I could not see the colors at that time. Um, it was your prior testimony that you noticed the colors. You, you stated the colors. I know that they are those colors because you used them to tie me up after the struggle, so I know what colors they were. Oh. oh, so how did that work out for you, Sparky? Oh my God, that is just devastating. Devastating. He's clueless. And uh, he, he, he's, we're, at, we're on Twitter. He messages me. He's like, yeah, that courthouse isn't far. Well, let's just put it that way. He says, it, that courthouse isn't far. I said, well, put your suit on and get over there. <laughs> <laughs> this is a huge case. I was shocked he could get in. Yeah. Oh, I had no problem getting in. Mm -mm. It was actually not a particularly packed courthouse that last day. No, it wasn't. Although, I, and I don't know if you want to share this, but uh, we, you also told me this this morning. John, you missed it. You should have hung out a little bit longer. Oh. Because I, what, I, what, I, hap I what happened when the, when, the when the jury went out? What happened with the alternates and the defense attorney? Uh, but I, I just I dispute the categorization that, that this is, it, it was like a threat towards a, a prosecutor. I, I just I do dispute that. Well, he does say they should do they should allow you to have boxing matches with motherfucking prosecutors. You should be able to fight the prosecutor, like literally fight them, knock them down. I can't wait until this lawyer get a hold of her ass for maliciously prosecuting me. You little white bitch. You listen, you little bitch. You listen to me right now. Ain't you little bitch. Suck, suck my dick. That's what you do since you want to listen to my call so much. So there was follow-up after that, Judge, okay. because I was okay. extremely threatening in this case. All right. We're going to... Uh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I like the judge. He's like, all right, all right. Like, there's nothing wrong with it, but point taken. I, I get where you... I, I heard you. If Mr. Johnson wishes to speak, he may do so, but uh, you need to know it's on the record, and go ahead. Yeah. Yes, sir. I, I definitely understand that everything will be used against me. Um, as, as Mr. Bernstein stated, um, and as well as Mrs. Blanche, um, the, the, they, they tried to pursue the charges or a charge for um, threatening a government official due to the statement of me using the exact words was that I was going to clap this. Uh, I was going to clap the motherfucking, excuse my language. I said, I'm going to clap this motherfucking prosecutor on this, malicious, on this malicious prosecution lawsuit in regards to them maliciously prosecuting me for a malicious... No, he didn't say that. <laughs> I love how he tries to add the context afterwards with a bunch of words he never said or intended. I have, I have, the, the, thir I have the 13th in the... Mr. Bloom, please, I let you talk. 
Well, I mean, you've already violated my rights, so Jeffrey, oh, Jeffrey, you're saying I violate. You know what? Give me a special day. It'll be before you. me. It'll be before Jeffrey. me. Give me a special day before. Not you. What's no. the nearest date? I don't want to hear any more from you. Give me a special day. Oh, congratulations. Now Judge Simpson is taking special interest in your case. Just give me a date. And then you, they're gonna put, well, they're going to put a person on. It's going to be adjourned to the 20th. I'll take the case. That's you, Your Honor. If he thinks that something, if he thinks I violated not your you, rights, Your Honor. If, if you think I violated your rights, let's no, do it. No, not you. Not you, Your Honor. Not you. I Jeffrey. Just, you can see where Judge Simpson might have been confused when he said that Judge Simpson violated my rights. <laughs> you, Your Honor. I need a five-minute breakout. Okay. I need a five-minute breakout. Period. Or you're fired. Everybody's fired. I need a five-minute breakout. That's not how it works. What do I have? A five-minute breakout. No, you can't. We're on a docket, sir. We have like an entire docket. No, the attorney's coming to see you tonight. I have, but I can't. Mr. Mr. Simpson, it wasn't you, sir. Jeffrey, you're just making matters worth. It wasn't him. All right. May I say something to my attorney first? Not privately. Yeah, I know it's not going to be privately. Can you hear me, Miss Miss Reed? Yes, I can. Um, you asked me if I was a U.S. citizen properly uh, before. Um, I was confused by the question. Um, I didn't understand it. I'm not a U.S. citizen now. I'm a Moorish American national. I just want that to be on the record. <laughs> okay. All right. What's your name, please? So noted, Dopey. Hi, my name is Eddie J. Collier Green Jr. Okay, Mr. Okay, this this might be immature, but Collier Green. I mean, it's it's dangerously close to Collier Greens. <laughs> it just is. Collier Green. I have one, two, three. Four felony files here. I don't believe you've been arraigned on any of them. So I'm going to start with your contact information. Oh, there's also a, a PPO violation. Um, now they're sending me every possible PPO violation. So um, there's also that. So five things all together. So let's start with your contact information. Are we using the Jane Street address in Syracuse, New York? Yes, ma'am. I, yes, ma I haven't lived in Michigan since 2018. Okay. Um, so you just were here long enough to be charged with four felonies? Don't say a word! Oh, and go ahead and put yourself on mute now. Well, you go from yes to I hope so. What is it? When's the last time you used and what did you use? I haven't used nothing. When was the last time you used and what was it? Mm, I haven't used nothing. Uh, that, that time I was with my girl was on her birthday, which was on the 10th. 10th of what? Of this month. Mm -hmm. And I told her that I wouldn't be able to, she's kind of upset because I told her that I wouldn't be able to be with her no more because of the situation that I'm in. You're telling me she's upset because she can't have intimate relationships with you? Well. <laughs> Thank you, Judge, for professionally saying what we were all thinking. <laughs> you just forgot? Yeah, I look, I'm, I'm going to set a reminder. I got a lot. If I tell you my uh, my life, but I'm not TMI. But I forgot. I really did. And when I got the letter, I was like, ooh, I forgot. I can make a payment tomorrow and pay it off. Sorry. Well, depending on the balance. Ooh, I'm loud. I'm at work. You making me make a scene. I am. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm not making you make a scene. You didn't pay. <laughs> no, right, man. I gotta explain it to you. Okay, I got you. All right. Let's. When can you get it paid? We're, okay, we're, uh, what is my balance? I can make a nice payment we're gonna, tomorrow. We're gonna whisper. <laughs> <laughs> She's a hook. I have a balance of 145. Oh, yeah, definitely. I pay half tomorrow tomorrow, and the other half in two weeks on the 30th. I guess you ain't going to pay it all tomorrow. I know. That's okay. I, I don't want, no, don't put your business out there. You need how long to pay it? <laughs> two weeks. <laughs> oh, my God. 
<laughs> pay, pay it by September 30th. Okay. Okay. I promise I will. Okay. You better get it paid. Don't say you forgot. <laughs> you go back to work. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay. Bye bye. Hope nobody heard. <laughs> It had to be the quietest here again. All right, who, who I think we have uh what is that Johnson? That's Mr. South, I think. They had Johnson up there. Oh, yeah, yeah, it doesn't that doesn't look like oh, okay. Court <laughs> calls the case people versus DeMarta South. Edward Drucas on behalf of DeMarta South. <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, if I could approach with probation. <laughs> yes. Can please put me into a breakout room before this goes further south? That's bad. He's up with probation, right? Yes. I need Miss Polera. Have you asked for monetary damages in this TPO? For pain and suffering? No! He has, there's no such thing! Next question! Please ask him your next question. Are you, being, are, are you being investigated by Florida police for calling in the human trafficking violation that got us stranded in Florida? No. <laughs> Have you been questioned? No. You, uh, uh, sorry, uh, maybe the, I... Didn't he said no. Ask him the next question. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me be. Sh I'm. I'm sure let me say no. Ask him the next question, please. Uh, that wouldn't make any sense. You. You not. Then how would you have any information? He said no. Uh, yes. And then my question is: Then how would you have any information about Florida? You are the one who wrote me an email saying that you're being investigated. You are the one who sent it a text and said that the Florida CPS is investigating you. <laughs> Next question, ma'am. No, no, I'm talking about... Is that, is that the clarification you were looking for? Because it's fantastic. The police. Go ahead, you have a question? So what, it's 10% of 3000 I got to pay? No, it's a personal recognizance bond of 3000 You don't have to put up anything. You're fine. Okay, so I can get out and then... The deputy will explain to you. You're being released. Go. Fly like the wind. Go. Go. <laughs> and at this time, I, I heard that you said that you want a court-appointed attorney. Is that right? Because I cannot hire one. I don't have any money. Yeah, you don't hurt. allow me to get my money. Right. I'm going to put you out for a court-appointed attorney. Um, He's got money to go to the liquor store every day. Now you're Excuse me, I'm asking. I'm out of nothing but respect. No disrespect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I want to know if how do I know if I get personal bond? Okay, that's what I want to know from you. Oh, I'll tell you. Excuse uh, me. I'll tell you if you're getting personal bond. Okay, yes, sir. That's all I need to know. Okay. Well. You are out of getting a personal bond. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. So understand that within eight hours from this time, you'll be released on bail. Yes, sir. All right. Now. Oh, dear. <laughs> and I'm one thing. When I get home, nothing better not be wrong with my dog, my house. <laughs> and I don't understand why y'all separate my Bible and then give me all my personal things. That don't make sense to me. Oh, yeah, she wants answers now. She doesn't feel like she's been treated right. She doesn't have her Bible. You know, she's a God-fearing woman. Yes, and her dog. I guess <laughs> they let her take her dog with the with her in the, in the She's like, yeah, you, 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 my dog better be okay. Oh, uh, you're the one who got popped for a crime. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and the liquor store better be open when I get out. <laughs> Marshall, stay out of Fulton County. Sorry, the only reason you're going to come to Fulton County is corridor to see your lawyer. Not even get gas. Can't even stop at Chick-fil-A. Stay away. Well, we put him on top. We put him on the floor. 
that's his right. They're not in front of him, yes. but it's by his own conduct that he's done that. Well, yeah, for around me. Should reflect Mr. <laughs> and we're done. because he wants to continue <laughs> to debate okay. with this court about no. my prior rulings regarding oh, his uh, forfeiture by conduct of his right to present further evidence on his behalf. I know one of the things I probably need to look at, I'm not sure if Madam Clerk did this or not, would be the language from the amendment from the amended information on count uh, 70, 70. I love that she's just not taking it anymore. Um, 76, the 76 count, just want to make, it says near frame park, so it is in there, but that was just one question I had. All right. Hey, are you building a box so for it? State has <laughs> any requests as it relates to the jury instructions. Yeah, I'm just going through each one. I'm on page 50 of 107. A lot of documents can't read. read so far. Okay. I, fair enough. There's 107 pages. I certainly can give the parties some time to continue to read through them. Yeah, that's what he's doing. He's yeah, I can see that's happening. I, I can I can see that. That's one of the few things he's got left. Make a mess in, in the empty courtroom. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of waiting for it. <laughs> He's literally hiding behind his banker's boxes right now. <laughs> Good Lord. He built a box for it. On yes, the yes. Yeah, so they can see him. Oh, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm actually glad I didn't pull away from this. It's <laughs> getting good. Oh, God. <laughs> no, no, boo-boo. I'm behind the banker's box. Okay. Have you ever had any history of substance abuse issues? Not your fucking business. All right. Well, Miss Lewis, we'll go ahead and enter a plea of no contest, or um, I'm sorry, not guilty on your behalf, and then we'll get you back in front of Division 61 as soon as possible. Okay? Um, why can't I just go? I wasn't. It, um, yeah, what other um, what other details do you have that you'd like to share? Like, apparently, people were saying there was a hurricane coming which didn't make any sense, but to make sure I was covered. So I was just in a well-covered area, and no one had called that owns this building, as I know for a fact. And yet, um, I was picked up, and I was mistreated, and I was brought here, and I've been here for, I don't know how many days, and it makes no sense, because certainly it's not keeping me safe in, for health or from a hurricane, that you are just um, have people running around in these stupid cars, putting cuffs on people, when you say there's a coronavirus and tons of natural disasters, which isn't seeming sound for uh, trespassing, so this isn't lawful um, at all. This is, this is nonsense. It's called stalking for no reason. And you're trying to generate funds for yourself from this, I'm assuming, uh, financially, and that'll be looked into along with the fact that you've done this. In, you, it's, you're not going to be in the clear. You're not going to be in the right about this, that you're sitting there as you're not qualified. Okay. And there's no point. Well, since when I'm not qualified, Miss Lewis, Miss um, Lewis, listen to me. Since I'm not qualified, you take it up with the COs, and you can take it up with the next judge and see if they're qualified. Okay. I'm telling you, you're not a judge. We're going through a divorce. We filed back in August. My client, Miss Smith, lives in Lakeway now with both of the children. Since COVID, there has been a significant concern about Mr. Smith's mental health and an increase in reckless behaviors. That all accumulated and escalated to an event on July 27th after spending a week with prostitutes and doing drugs in the marital residence, Mr. Smith decided to load up a Glock, drive around Lakeway, and shot at three residences. So the court will uh, admit what's being offered as Petitioner's Exhibit 1 into evidence. If you would like to play the video, Ms. Cordona. Thank you, Judge. I'm going to uh, start the video over from the beginning. Okay. Go ahead. Thank you. Okay. I'm in my truck. Just wanted to show you so everybody knows I'm imagining shit. Watch. You know, I'm imagining that. That's really not happening. That isn't a worm or whatever, you know. That extraterrestrial that's in uh, behind my feet just didn't uh, set up an obstacle course to blow 
uh, some black dust looking shit that entered through my back side that I've been trying to take a photograph of so everybody would know and enter my front and doing this thing. It's not happening. Yes, yes. In case you could, didn't hear it, he is claiming in this video that he is an extraterrestrial that entered him from the backside and he's attempting to take a picture of it. We probably should have Mr. Hartford muted if we can. At this point, he's going to walk I'm, a fine I'm line fine. Of finding of contempt. I'm, I'm fine. Well, it's a fine line. At this Go point, ahead. the court is going to assign uh, future court dates for Mr. Hartford. We are going to be utilizing uh, dates. So, Mr. Hartford, at this point, I am going to find you in contempt of court. I am going to give you an opportunity to reappear in 10 minutes if you would like to apologize to the court. Mr. Gwynn, now it's your opportunity to ask Mr. Powers any questions regarding the attorney fees that he's testified to this morning. You may proceed. Your Honor, we all wish to remain in voluntary compliance with the IRS. So. I'm sorry, do you, do you have any questions for Mr. Powers regarding his attorney's fees request? Yes, I, I want, I'd like to know if in, uh, we all remain in voluntary compliance with the IRS. Doesn't Mr. Powers? Uh, I, I, I will object to the relevance of the question. I don't understand the question, first of all, uh, but I also don't know why whether or not you or he are in compliance with the IRS is relevant to whether or not I should allow him and or, or should uh, award him his client attorney's fees for the work done on the case. So I'll sustain the relevance objection. Because I'd like to know whose name goes on. I'm just asking if you have any questions for him regarding the attorney's who's, fees he's requesting today. Whose name goes on the FinCEN 8300? I don't know what that is either, and I don't know why it's related to whether or not he's going to get some attorney's fees. So if you have questions about whether or not he should be awarded some attorney's fees, you may ask him that question. I'm going to assume you don't want me to give him any attorney's fees, so I appreciate no, your position. No, I don't. And, okay. this is, and here's another Trezevant versus Tampa, Tampa Bowl is billable at $3,000 per minute for renting my natural son. As well as time and commodity for total. Okay. Mr. Gwynn? My fees. Mr. Gwynn? Mr. Gwynn? And for Mr. Gwynn? Rent, taking my son from me and Mr. making Gwynn? me. Mr. Gwynn, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm going to ask you one more time. You will, let me tell you a couple of things first. One, you will be allowed to provide your own testimony when it's your turn. So if you want to tell me your side of the story, make whatever request you want to make, you may do that when it's your turn to testify. But right now, it's not your turn to testify. Right now, all we're doing in this very limited part of our proceeding is giving you the opportunity to ask Mr. Powers questions about his request for attorney's fees. That's it. And when we're done with that, we'll move on. But right now, we're just limiting your questions to his request for attorney's fees only. Nothing else. So if you have a question about that, please ask that question. Okay, I do have a question about that because if I'm if he's wanting to bill me, who's gonna is he gonna get my bill too? I have a bill as well. If that is not a question about his attorney's fees, that's a question about your request. That's not what we're doing right now. So if you have a question about his request, what is your question? The IR the IRS handles is a billing. And so I just want to know do I put his name on the IRS documents that I submit for his billing? That is not a question related to his request for attorney's fees. He wants me to order you to pay him. That's the only thing on the table right now. Do you I, have a question I, for him about I, that? I do not consent to I, I appreciate that you want me not to give it to him. I get that. The question is, do you have any questions for him about it? Ma'am, I just want I just want to make sure we all remain in compliance with the IRS and I just Well, I'm going to assume by your statement that you don't have a question for him about his attorney's fees. I however do. So I will ask it at this time and then I'll give you a chance to follow up if you if you can think of a question. Oh, sweet Jesus. What? Sincere thanks to all the support in 2022. I had so much fun doing this, hanging out with you guys and I look forward to 2023.
Here at Law Talk, we like to have fun with uh, silly stuff that happens in court and every once in a while and completely by accident, I assure you, you might learn something. Thanks for watching.